Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to work on creating a little JavaScript that'll show or hide my mobile menu. Okay, so we're working on this web page, and we've got a mobile friendly menu, but I want it to show and hide when a user clicks this particular button right here, this uh, hyperlink. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Now I'm going to work in the lower part of the body of my web page. I'm going to create a set of script tags. And I'll have at least one function in here, maybe two. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with my first function. I'm going to call this mobile menu. So my first function is going to contain an if statement. And with an if statement, it's if, and it's going to be my actual test, my logical test. And then I'm going to have a set of curly braces for what happens if that's true. Now what I'm going to be testing for is if document.get element by ID, my mobile menu, I believe that is what it's called. And if I forget, I think it actually might be main menu. Um, yeah, it's ID main menu. So my main menu, if that style dot display is equal to block. Okay, so if my style display is already set to block, then what I want the button to do is change that display to none. And I use two equal signs as a comparison operator, and then one equal sign as an assignment operator. There we go. So when the user clicks the button, if the display is already blocked, then clicking the button is going to change it to none. Else, another set of curly braces, I'm going to change that display to block. There we go. So if it's block, clicking the button changes it to none. Otherwise, clicking the button changes it to block. Now, I want to trigger this when the user clicks a button. So right after my function, I will just do a little event listener, document.get element by ID. And I'm going to use my menu icon, add event listener. And this is going to happen on click. And the function I want to call is my mobile menu. OK, that looks pretty good. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so that it all kind of fits on one line. And there we go. So we can kind of see that. And that should be enough to test. So I'm going to save this, head to my browser, and refresh. And now clicking that button will show the little submenu. And then clicking it again will hide it. So OK, that's not so bad. It takes care of that little feature. However, this can also occur. Now that I've turned this on and hidden it a couple times, when I resize my browser window and go wide, my menu is not appearing, my horizontal menu, which I already have styled, by the way. I'm going to go ahead and refresh that and see, well, there it appears. So basically, when the browser is narrow, it's hidden. Um, that's cool. When the browser goes wide, it's like this. You'll notice this effect only occurs, though. So there's mobile, there's wide. That part's fine. So this is only going to affect users that are on the portrait um, on a narrow device, let's say a tablet in portrait, they show and hide the menu or just show the menu and then switch over to landscape mode. So pretty rare, but we can start to help out a little bit. Um, so what I'm going to do over on my script over here is I'm going to create another function. And this one's going to be called my reset menu function. And it's not terribly different. Same logical structure. This time I'm going to use an if statement and I'm going to check for my window inner width being greater than or equal to 900. Now, if that's the case, then I'm going to take my document.get element by ID and I'll take my main menu dot style dot display. Now this time, I'm not going to set it to block. I'm going to set it to flex. So if you haven't watched the part four video yet, um, I'm actually going to use a flex box for that horizontal menu. So I'll do a display flex there. And then I'll also have an else. Ooh, let's do an else if. <coughs> window dot inner width less than 900. We'll go ahead and do. Uh, We'll hide that menu, so 
just to make sure that basically we're using JavaScript, the same thing as we might use a media query. In this one, we'll do a display none. So if the window enter width is less than 900, then we're going to do a display none. But if it's greater than or equal to 900, then we want to do a display flex. OK, that sounds pretty good. And uh, yeah, so one of those two operations will occur. So that's the end of my else if. There's the end of my if, there's the end of my function. Just need another event listener, document.get element by ID. Uh, actually, nope, let's do this one on the window so we can do a resize. So window.add event listener, resize, and then the function is going to be my reset menu function. Okay, so I'm going to save that browser refresh and we can kind of test it here so obviously before clicking my button wide wide menu narrow menu everything looks good there now if I click this and then hide it then I go wide cool it's showing up if I click this and leave it exposed cool everything seems to be working good now I say this isn't going to be a solution for everything because I have noticed some issues like in a uh, in Chrome for iOS, we might still have an issue and it might require a reload page. Now there are some methods that are still developing too for checking in JavaScript for uh, orientation or, and we could of course uh, reload the page, but that takes us into a different area, different topic, a little bit deeper, but still pretty interesting. But I think for now this is going to be pretty satisfactory and deal with practically all users. Um, especially users that are working in mobile devices or desktop devices and things like that. So have fun with this and uh, yeah, continue working on your web pages.